An exciting day for football in New Zealand. An exciting day across the A-Leagues. Auckland FC have been revealed. The club name, the logo, the kit, uh, it's all here. And I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. And of course, we'd love to get your thoughts on this big announcement. Join the conversation in the comments section. Auckland FC, man, it's look, it's not, a, it's nothing fancy, uh, but I don't mind it. It's a decent name. There was a lot of talk, and um, I saw some comments uh, from plenty of people hoping that they weren't going to be called Black Knights. Um, and I was in that camp as well. I don't know how that would have gone as a name. Um, you know, maybe a bit too similar to New Zealand Knights, uh, who were previously based out of Auckland as well, um, and just you know, want something a little bit different. Like, I, I don't mind this. It would have been cool to see, you know, I don't, I'm not sure something different, but, you know, we've got another FC team in the league here. Auckland FC, though, um, it's a classic football name. Uh, there's nothing uh, really sort of fancy about it. Um, it is interesting, though, like in a lot of the, like, social media material, and um, I'm not sure whether it's like an official thing, but they, they're saying, you know, Auckland FC, a.k.a. Uh, the Black Knights. So potentially, I mean, it, it might be a similar situation to, like, MacArthur FC. Like, they're not officially MacArthur Bulls, I'm pretty sure. They're MacArthur FC, but like, you know, sort of their official nickname, if you like, is the Bulls. So it might be that sort of uh, situation where it's Auckland FC, but you could also refer to them as as the Black Knights. Let's see if that sticks, if people actually call them that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but Auckland FC are here, and this is a look at their logo. And I'm not going to lie. And I, as soon as I saw it, it it looks like something you generate, you know, when you like create a club in like FIFA. That's what, sort of what it looks like. It's got a bit of those vibes. Um, but look, it's it's not a bad logo. I, I and look, I dig the colours. I dig the colours. I think there was an, a, a bit a bit of concern as well that they just would have been like you know their colours just would have been like black and white, um, you know, or something like that. But um, it's cool to see that they've gone for what they've been saying in their promotional material as electric blue look sick and um look it's different for we've obviously got a few clubs that wear blue in the in the a-league but this is obviously different you've got melbourne city and sydney fc who sort of wear that sky blue that light blue color melbourne victory obviously obviously wearing the navy blue this is sort of the in-between and i like that i'm sure it's going to look great um and we're going to take a, uh, a peek at the kit in a second as well um but i like that they're you know bringing that gold and gold touch in there as well it's a nice um it's a nice mixture of colors there i'm no graphic designer but uh, electric blue, black, and uh, and the touch of gold looks very very nice. Um, again, it, look <laughs> like I'm I'm just having a laugh when I'm you know knocking the kit, saying it's it sort of looked uh, looks as if it's been generated in FIFA or something. It's not a bad uh, it's not a bad logo by uh, any stretch of the imagination. Um, but uh, hey, not bad. Hey, and uh, the kit itself here uh, from New Balance. Again, again, like it's it it looks a bit. I don't know whether it's just because the graphic is. Um, you know, it's not like it's not like an actual real life kit that someone's wearing that we're seeing here. It's just the picture, but it does you know have a bit of a, a creator club FIFA vibe. As you know, it's like just like a template sort of kit, blue and black stripes, and it is a bit similar to to Western United in they in their debut season. Obviously, they they wear the green and black, but again, like it's not a bad kit. It it, it, it isn't, and um, you know, I'm curious to see what they do in the future. Uh, you know, it's cool to see you know MacArthur SC just this current season have changed their kit up a bit. They've gone for the black and white stripes uh, compared to just you know the, the plain white top which i think is a cool shake up as well um so we'll see if you know auckland you know whether the stripes is going to be a big thing for them it's going to be a big part of their identity we've got teams like western united already who you know the stripes are clearly a part of their identity and what they want to go for in their kits um look not a bad kit and and, and again you look at the the blue on this kit and it looks really nice the combination of black and blue i think looks really really cool um, you know, obviously, as, as we saw there with the logo having that touch of gold, you just wonder whether they could have maybe integrated that gold in there um, a little bit more, maybe just like on a little trim on the sleeves or the collar. I, I wonder how that would have looked. Um, potentially, we'll see like an all gold away kit. You know, that could be kind of cool too, maybe like gold and white or something like that. Um, but what do you guys think, man? I, I mean, I dig the colors. Uh, look, again, the name is nothing to get super excited about, um, but it's exciting to, for this club to go through the next step of, of getting this thing off the ground. Um, you know, it's actually happening. It's not just an idea. It's not something we're just talking about. It's official. It's actually happening. And um, things are starting to move now. Um, they've got a CEO in place. Obviously, you know, Steve Corica is going to be the club's inaugural um, manager. And there's already been some rumors floating around, some, you know, suggestions that 
players have already been locked in for next season. Some of the articles that I've seen, the likes of uh, Jake Brimmer, uh, you've got some, you know, Kiwi players. Obviously, I'm sure they're going to sign plenty of New Zealand players. Uh, you know, Marco Rojas, who is currently at Brisbane Raw, could potentially play at the club as well. You know, whether they even try and, you know, uh, you know, grab some players from their rivals, Wellington Phoenix. And, you know, that's, for me, that's the thing that I'm most excited to see. And really curious, to actually, to see how it plays out, this New Zealand derby. You've got Wellington Phoenix um, coming up against Auckland FC. And look, hopefully we see packed, packed stadiums um, when those two teams play each other. And it's something really unique. You know, I don't know about it. I don't know any other code that has that, that has two New Zealand teams that could play, uh, you know, in a professional league that could play each other in a derby like this. And look, I don't know how long the drive is from like Auckland to Wellington. I know they're, bo I know they're both on the North Island. My New Zealand friends can let me know in the, in the comments. Um, but really, really fascinating, man. I think this could be a really unique derby. One of the great things about the A-League that I love is that all our derbies are pretty different and pretty unique. I mean, you've got sort of, um, you know, the intensity of, 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 the, of the Sydney derby, uh, you know, the glitz and the glamour of the Melbourne derby. You've got the distance derby, which I believe now will be contested between Perth Glory and Auckland as they are now the furthest team away, I'm pretty sure. Um, and, and the F3 derby, of course, my percentage of course, Marriott is featuring in, the, featuring in the F3 derby, which, you know, has its own vibe to it as well. And this is going to be something different, man. I'm really curious to see how it plays out. Um, I'm curious to see how it goes with Wellington Phoenix now. And, you know, it's exciting for New Zealand football. You know, young players coming through in New Zealand. You know, it's not all... There's not just a single pathway to Wellington Phoenix now. They've got the option to, you know, whether they go for Wellington or Auckland now. Uh, same for, you know, fans across New Zealand. You know, which which, which team do you pick? Hey, um, so very, very excited to, uh, to, to, to see this all sort of come to fruition and um, hopefully everything goes smoothly for Auckland to enter uh, next season. You know, it's not too far away. And they said um, in, the art, on, in an article on the A-League's website that um, as of June this year, they're going to start announcing some player signings officially. So look, keep an eye out for that as well. And uh, hopefully we get Canberra off the ground as well. Again, there's been some talk around about that. Nothing really official and concrete just yet. Uh, they are certainly running out of time. And when you look at the timeline so far, you know, Auckland are well ahead and Canberra are way behind in terms of getting that things uh, sorted, which, um, look, I hope gets sorted out soon because we don't want a competition where a team has to play a bye every week. I'm not a fan of that. I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. Um, so hopefully we can get the Canberra team in there as well. Jump straight up to 14 teams, you know, have, you know, extra couple of rounds in the A-League next season. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, like I said, Drop your thoughts on this announcement, the club colors, the logo, everything in the uh, comment section. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay subscribed for more A-League chat, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.